Hello and welcome. This is Hless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. This tutorial will be looking at something interesting, I think, the settings menu in the action bar. Now, I've already done a tutorial on how to get the template setting menu and how to do some things with it, but this tutorial is aimed at those who want to be able to work with the settings menu and do all the programming basically themselves uh, from the very beginning. Now, in order to start this, I um, wanted to start with a brand new project, my menu setting demo. And I've actually got one in the background that I'm gonna use a switch between called menu settings that I've already completed. And we're just gonna go next, uh, 15 is fine. And I wanna use this blank activity again because it has a menu uh, option already installed in the top, very, very generic, doesn't actually do anything, uh, but it's a good starting point. And next, and then finish. And wait till it builds. All right, when it's done building, we wanna go over here and we wanna look at something in here called the menu main XML. This is where your menu actually appears. Now, again, when we go and run the the app, all right, when it's done building, you'll get this. And again, you just click on this and the little settings thing, nothing happens because it's got no brains attached to it, nothing in the Java code telling it to do anything. I wanted to show you this. We'll look at this again in the completed program. But basically, you add items to this. And I'll show you there are actually several th these uh, show as actions that you can choose from in order to get different uh, things to appear on your action bar. And I'll show you some handy uh, steps to doing that. And then on the main activity itself, this right here on create inflate this main menu, which is the main menu XML right here. This is what inflates the menu into your action bar. And right here, this statement right here, if ID, this looks for the item get item ID. And if it finds this, it does basically nothing. It returns true. So this is where we're gonna put the programming, the guts of our programming based on our menu that we've created. So we're gonna change the background color of the content main and we'll give this an ID uh, the relative layout we'll get rid of the text view and we'll use that to add red yellow green blue and another button that I'll show you here in a second and we'll do that by adding different items and just adding those items and they will show up when we run the app all right now this is the one I've already completed I want you to come in here and look at this. This is gonna be on my website as well. I've uh, only thing I've done in content main is I got rid of the hello world, find it a little annoying after a while. And I got and named this relative layout, primary relative layout. So I could use it as an object. Now, if we go into menu XML, you'll see it is a little different. We see the different items. This is the first item that's that was, um, this is the first item that was added already. And then I added these other items down here. And I'll talk about those in a second. But I wanted to show you that uh, the Android title is red and there's no title here. That's because we've got this title and it's doing it properly. Now the rest of this, I'm just, I'm just doing as, as, a, as a tutorial I'll real quick show you how. And I wanted to reaffirm the importance of string here, because if you go in the action settings, I've changed the action settings into green. Now, if I had all of these strings names equals in here, I could very quickly change my entire list of uh, buttons or taggable uh, text from different things very quickly. Instead, as you can see, if I had a list How easy that would be to change just the green from green to yellow. That would be very easy to change that. Instead, what I have to do is because they are all hard coded into the XML, 
is I have to first of all find where they are which takes a second a second longer if you will and then I have to go to each one and change the word if I wanted to alright so that that's string is good but I'm not using it because I wanted to illustrate that and because I wanted to show this in a, a less discombobulated way so you could see it all in one place but that's why this item is up here by itself and there is actually no green here it's all in the string alright so look at these notes there are several options you could use here if room never with text always and collapse actions view now you can play with these as much as you like to see what they do the only ones that we're gonna use are never if room and with text so the first one I want to show never was of course the one that you saw when you push the button it didn't show up it didn't show up when you played the app unless you click the little three little buttons then it would show up now this right here if room now this will show whatever you've got assigned to this item if there's room for it on the action bar now on this particular thing I'm using the send icon now if you were going to do it right the way that you officially do it I would use the Android drawable IC menu send because that's the uh, very prototypical paper airplane that you see in a lot of programs for send but I use this purple one that I made just to show you very specifically how it works and we'll see that as soon as you run it and then I added these other items here action red yellow and blue so that they can be uh, kind of like uh, buttons but uh, text words that we'll use to click and then change the background of the app and when you run it and this is what it looks like when it's running now I'd like to point out here that with text and never pretty much for this uh, example they were exactly the same I'll put some links below like I said there's several options alright so this is what you get and you open the settings you've got the red the yellow the blue and the green and they will change the color of the background of these different colors and then I've got this right here this purple uh, so that we can very clearly see what the effect of if room is it actually and on top of that we have this icon that's overriding the title all right now let's go into the main activity and see some differences between this main activity and this main activity are very small and a lot bigger so it's very simple to explain first of all I went up here and I'm going to add a relative layout variable up here so that we can use it throughout uh, the program and then within this uh, method right here I did the relative layout equals relative layout find view so that we can use it right here and for each one of these I did the relative layout set background color to the corresponding colors that I desired now this else statement is what trickles through uh, if none of these other statements are are met that means that purple arrow that was our send button that will trigger this and return the background to white and that is indeed what it does go to settings turn the background to red green and when you're tired of seeing the background that color purple arrow will turn it back to white and there you go that is a basic understanding of, the, of how to add and modify the menu to your apps now I didn't go into a huge amount of detail about what if you wanted to write it from scrap uh, because you can pretty much cut and paste this entire thing into any application that you have built or want to build want to build and use it just as it is so uh, that's my justification for that this is actually you know it's a beginning tutorial 
And uh, that's what I would suggest. So, this has been Ageless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. I hope you learned something, and I hope this helps. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around. <phone rings>